Good morning, friends. Long time no see. It has been a very busy last week and a half, almost two weeks. If you watch my cleaning channel, then I'm sure you've already heard what's been going on. I just haven't had time to pick up the camera and vlog. So all things have been well, but just been super busy trying to stay on top of everything. And then I had a collab on my cleaning channel. So as soon as I got back, I had to film like three cleaning videos back to back. So that was a big reason why I just haven't had time to vlog. But I'm finally picking up the camera and we are going to be tackling some things today. I do need to run some errands. Hopefully we will get to that. I also am probably gonna be picking up Aubrey early from school today. Unfortunately, she's already starting to feel like she's getting sick, which it might be because the changing of the weather, it's already getting so cool at night. The cool last night was 55. I think it's getting up to like the 70s today. So the temperature is definitely already dropping, which feels so good. We are really excited about the fall weather. That was one thing we missed living in Texas. There was like no seasons, so we're really excited to enjoy all the seasons, but I think because of the changing of the weather, Aubrey is feeling a little sick. She's not feeling good, so she wants me to pick her up after lunch because she has lunch and then study block, and so she's like, I don't have any main classes after that, so I'll probably go pick her up. We also need to make a trip to the post office for my mom. She needs to like change her address and everything. I need to drop off some Crocs at Kohl's. I have like an Amazon return, so I really need to do that today too because I needed to do that like over two weeks ago. We'll probably run those errands and then we'll see what else we get into today. I did paint my nails yesterday, which I need to redo this one. I picked that one off this morning because it was chipping, but painted my nails. I ordered some new gel polish and of course I had to get the fall colors. It came with six different colors. They're all so pretty. And I'm also trying to heal up my finger again. I had to um, get some hydrocortisone. I had to get some hydrocortisol cream, um, whatever it's called, because my finger is breaking out again. I swear, every few months my finger breaks out. I need to clean my wedding ring. It's so bad, but it's starting to clear up some. Hopefully I can wear my ring again. It's all like patchy and gross looking. I don't know if you guys can tell. But without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into it. First thing I need to do is get some laundry started, and then I might walk on the treadmill because I have been slacking with my workouts, of course. Life has been so crazy and then you know, driving back and forth. I don't know if it was the driving or like the workouts before the drive, but ever since then, my left hip has literally been killing me. If you guys have been following me for a while, I've been having hip problems ever since I had Ethan, but these last couple weeks, it has been worse than it's ever been. So working out just doesn't feel good at all. So I think I'm just gonna get some steps in today because I need to move my body. We've been eating bad. <laughs> We've been eating a lot of good dessert at night and it's definitely catching up to me. So I need to get my steps in today. So maybe I'll do that first thing before we go run our errands, but let's get started. Oh, also before we go downstairs, I wanna share my new jacket with you guys. This is the cutest jacket. It's from Sheen. It is so comfortable and stretchy. I love workout jackets. I just think they're super cute and they're like slimming, but they don't feel like you don't feel like you're squished. They just hug you in all the right places. And it has little thumb holes. So I just got this jacket in. I actually need to share it on TikTok right now, but thought I would share it with you guys too because it's so stinking cute and it's affordable. I'll leave the link to it in my description. So I wanted to show you guys, these are my new colors. I've been using beetles. Um, I mainly do my toes just because my nails always chip easily, but I really wanted to try out these fall colors. This is the pack that I got. I'm gonna quickly, but quickly I'm gonna touch up my one nail before we go run our errands. Another rainy afternoon. I don't know what I'm to do. I just miss you more than anything. Way too quiet in the house. I'm just wasted on the couch because I don't want to feel anything. So we ended up leaving that post office because it was insanely busy. So we're going to try the next post office, but 
Kohl's is along the way, so we're gonna go ahead, drop off Adrienne's Crocs that didn't fit her at Kohl's, and then try the next post office. Hopefully that one won't be as crazy. Oh, oh I know, all the great sounds of jet. Almost, they got some really cute Halloween stuff out. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, ran into Kohl's and realized that my return is for UPS, not Kohl's. So we're going to have to find a UPS along the way, but we're going to go to the post office first and then we'll find a UPS on the way back because we also need to go to the library. I have books um, that I decluttered out of the boys room that I want to donate to the library. So we're gonna drop him off at the library and then by then it should be about time to pick up Aubrey from school around like 11, 30, 12. That's when she goes to lunch. So we're just, uh, what's the saying? <laughs> going around our ass, get to our elbow. <laughs> going around, we're what? taking a long way today. Stay, stay here beside me. This is Made it to the next post office. <laughs> post office was a waste we went in there and they don't have any forms and they said they can't do it in the store so now we're gonna go home and do it online but we're headed to the UPS store so I can return the cross we are now back home we did drop off the books at the library thankfully they took the donations got Aubrey from school now we're home I'm starving so I just ate two donuts but I'm still hungry so I'm gonna warm up some of this lentils with my organic brown rice and quinoa. This stuff is really good. I get both of those at Sam's Club, but I'm gonna warm that up, eat that, and then I'm gonna show you guys something new that I just got in that I'm really excited to set up. I've been waiting until I'm vlogging to share it with you guys, but first I'm gonna eat. I'm so excited. I have the Tokit OccuPure reverse osmosis system. So let's go ahead and pull everything out. In case you guys are unfamiliar with what a reverse osmosis system is, it's basically just a big purifier, but even better. It removes additives and impurities, things like lead, copper, selenium, fluoride. It will take it all out of your water. Plus, it is very cost saving. If you guys buy bottled water, it can add up really quick. Not to mention, this is a much more environmentally friendly way to enjoy your purified water, but not have all that plastic waste. And this was super convenient and easy to put together. All I had to do was add the two filters inside of the machine. You fill up the water tank side to the max level and then we're going to go ahead and put this onto the machine and it's going to run a flushing cycle to get your filters all ready to go. But some great features about this system is that it is 600G high flow rate ensures that it's instant access to pure water upon flipping the switch, no waiting required. Also, it is strontium enriched mineralization technology so it delivers mineral water with helpful benefits and superior taste and this reverse osmosis system boasts a filtering precision of up to 0.0001 micrometers effectively removing bacteria and various impurities for visibly pure and reliable water my reverse osmosis system is finally all ready to go. This is so fancy. When you turn the screen on, you can see all the different options. You can do cold water, room temperature water, warm water for bottles, and then they have the even hotter settings, coffee, boiling water, 210 degrees. So many options on here. I'm so excited to have this in the house, especially on nights when we do hot cocoa. We do that really often in fall and winter. And your filters for the OccuPure last for one full year, so it's gonna last you a really long time. So the first thing I wanna try out is the hot water on here. I'm gonna be doing the Dandelion Chai Probiotic. So you can pick how many ounces. You have to hold down the lock to turn off. It's a uh, child lock, so you don't have to worry about little kids coming in here and pressing the button and like hot water coming out. It does have a lock on it. And then you can change the volume. So it has four ounces, eight ounces, 17 or the max. 
I'm gonna do eight ounces. Ooh Austin just got home from school. I got my hot water. You can feel the heat coming off. I'm gonna let my tea set for a minute. This is such a great thing to have on hand, especially if you have teens where you don't want them to like boil water on the stovetop or anything. You can make ramen noodles using this with the hot water. And I don't know about y'all, but I'm not the biggest fan of using a microwave because we all know, you know, there are some safety issues with it. So I love that you can get instant boiling water at the touch of your finger and you don't have to worry about radiation or anything like that. Wow. When Ethan was a baby, this would have saved me so much time, especially in those infant stages in the middle of the night when you're boiling water, you have to buy distilled water. So it's already purified. It comes out in the perfect temperature. This would have saved me so many sleepless nights. Mm, that is the perfect temperature. But if you guys are in the market for a reverse osmosis system, make sure you check out Toe Kids OccuPure. I will have it linked down in my description. And I have a discount code for you guys to help save you some additional money. So I forgot to turn on the camera while me and my mom were testing out all of my supplements. I was going through my drawers because I have so many things that I need to get rid of. So we just took some electrolytes from Beachbody. We took some probiotics and cleanse from Plexus. And then our MD hair collagen. Next up is my inulin fiber. This is really good for you. I forgot that I had it, so I figured we need to use it up. This is just soluble fiber, so it's gonna help with digestion, gonna get things moving, and there's a lot of other benefits to taking inulin fiber. So we just mix it with water. We're about to drink this. <laughs> it's supposed to be flavorless, so. It don't smell. It smells yeah. normal. It doesn't help. Oh yeah. Tastes like water. Next I think I'm gonna have my mom try out the mushroom coffee. We have the rise mushroom coffee. He used to call you water machine. And yep, and we use my reverse osmosis system. We're trying to find things so we can use it because you know it's something new and exciting. So we also have the mushroom hot cocoa. So we can brew some of this up and try it out. Can we mix the coffee and cocoa together? Maybe? We could. I might be good. You want to try it together? Sure. Let's see how it tastes. It, I think it tastes good. It just smells like shit. What is my language limitation? <laughs> YouTube viewers know uh, you can say whatever. Mm. <laughs> but I like to keep it, you know, a little yeah, more gotcha. pee, pee. I think it tastes really good. about to give this a try. I tried the Rise Mushroom Hot Cocoa. It's decent. The benefits are there so I can drink it, but I haven't tried the coffee. So we mix the coffee with the hot cocoa. So we're going to see how it tastes. Cheers. I've been drinking mine. Basically. I can tell you it don't smell very good. It's not bad. It's not bad. But it and smells like throw up. It does not smell good. <laughs> definitely a drink for the benefits but it's really not bad if you could put a straw or do like this <laughs> <laughs> or maybe if I put some half and half maybe you want to try some half and yeah half maybe half? I'll grab the half and half let's yeah. see maybe I'll some half now yeah, yeah that's we'll, that. we'll dilute it with cow's milk <laughs> okay let's see if this splash yep. let's see if it changed the smell though <laughs> <laughs> probably not <laughs> No, it does not change smell whatsoever. Nope. Maybe it's because. Is your smell the same as mine? Mm hmm Oh, okay. Now that tastes that's good. good. Yeah, that's better. It's good, actually. That it is really a lot is. better. It really is good. I can actually drink this now. It really mm -hmm. is good. Look. Mm. Okay. Actually, you. At least really we get is. our benefits. Our mushroom <laughs> benefits. We did drink uh, stuff to help us go to sleep. <laughs> We're gonna be going down. We're gonna be useless. You're not. Whoops. I just realized the hot cocoa is for nighttime. It has melatonin in it, but. I've been okay. wanting some melatonin, but. <laughs> but not at it's three. only four o'clock in the evening. <laughs> some of the benefits, in case you guys want to try out some mushroom coffee and hot cocoa. So the hot cocoa is for nighttime. It does have melatonin, it has L-thionine, glycine, 
reishi mushrooms for stress relief, cocoa for blood flow, chicory for digestion, um, and the, the L-thymine is for your cognitive function. Okay, so the coffee has cordyceps mushrooms for stamina, lion's mane for focus, reishi for stress relief, shiitake for immune support, turkey tail for healthy digestion, and king trumpet for anti-inflammatory. So there are a lot of benefits in the coffee. I think that's why it tastes a little, that's a little what, funky and the kind turkey, of smells. The turkey tail is probably where the, the smell, smell comes from. Yeah, have you had that mushroom before? A turkey tail? If I tail? was eating it, I smell to my a turkey's tail. <laughs> it smells like ass, right? Oh, it's a mushroom, a turkey oh, tail oh, mushroom. <laughs> it's already 4 15 so I need to get started on dinner today I'm gonna do one of my go-to recipes my hamburger soup I have not made a soup in quite some time even though my family likes to joke that I make it all the time but I wanted to show my mom my go-to recipe because the kids keep joking saying all I do is make soup so I thought today we would make it I will share it with you guys even though you've probably seen it already but I still can't believe it's already 4 15 I feel like we've been running around today in circles and not really like accomplishing everything and then it took me a long time to get the reverse osmosis set up so here is everything you're going to need to make this recipe one pound of ground beef a large thing of mixed veggies i always use the carrots corn green beans and peas that's my favorite mix Today I'm gonna to be adding in potatoes. You can also do rice. Um, so I'm gonna chop up two potatoes. I might do three, I don't know, we'll see when I do it. One whole onion and then two cans of diced tomatoes. Seasoning is gonna be salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and a lot of Italian seasoning. So let's go ahead. We're gonna chop up the onion and saute that with the ground beef first. I almost forgot to show you guys this is the most important like seasoning ingredient uh, Worcestershire sauce this is from a local butcher but you can use any Worcestershire sauce but you're gonna use a lot of this at least like six tablespoons or more just to your liking but you definitely don't want to forget this just gonna cut up the potatoes in small little pieces that way they cook quickly the bigger you leave them the longer you're gonna have to cook your soup because you're gonna just need to wait until your potatoes are soft are off to bed we were watching some squid games but now it's time for me to get the kitchen cleaned up I also want to take a bath tonight so I'm gonna quickly clean this up the kids did their portion now I just got to do the hand washing pick up the clutter and then call it a night so let's quickly get this kitchen cleaned up
About to hop into the bathtub, call it a night. I wanna close out the vlog right here. That way I can get this edited and uploaded as soon as possible for you guys. I know I was hoping for a much regular schedule after the kids got back to school, but a lot of things unexpected have happened. So of course, you know, my schedule has been so thrown off. So I really appreciate you guys being patient with me as I try to juggle all the things going on right now. But I'm sure we're gonna get in the groove of things here soon. Hopefully my mom will find a job Job. she'll get into a routine I'm gonna start settling in to waking up early again it has been so tough for me with the kids getting up early I'm still struggling going to bed at a decent time and being able to fall asleep I've been struggling with that so I actually might start trying to drink some of my dream hot cocoa it has like melatonin and stuff in it to help you fall asleep I might start drinking that because I have been struggling. I'll like lay down in the bed at 11, 11.30, but it takes me until well after midnight to fall asleep. And so I'm waking up at 6.45 and I'm so sleepy. Thankfully, the kids are very self-sufficient this year. I feel like they're finally in a good spot where they can pack their lunches, they set their alarms, they get up for, you know, by themselves in the morning and they know when to go to the bus stop. But of course I wanna be awake and make sure everything goes smoothly. So I still wake up early, even though I know I could probably get away with sleeping in a little bit. I still like to make sure I'm up and just watching over everything. So the adjustment has been real, but hopefully soon I'll be able to start going to bed at a decent time. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Also, make sure you guys head down to my description. Check out the toe kit reverse osmosis system. It is a really good one. And if you're new here, I'd love for you to subscribe. I do upload motherhood content every single week and I would love to have you here. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye!